So this is part of the feedback tool um, for the student and this is an opportunity for the patient to give the student some feedback around their communication and interpersonal skills. Now as you can see here we have actually made this form quite a lot smaller than what it has been in previous iterations. So as you can see here we've reduced the amount of questions asked to three questions. Um, we've also identified a couple of little qualitative comments, what the student did that was good and what the student can do to improve, which gives the opportunity for the patient, should they so wish to do so, um, an opportunity for them just to give a few little qualitative comments to the students there. Um, before we move on, what it is worth noting as well that um, and it, it does state this on the form but we sometimes get um, some students um, and some uh, members of staff saying that they don't exactly know who's supposed to give the form to but you'll notice here that it actually says that the radiographer who gave the form can discuss it with you and complete it on your behalf so the onus here is on the radiographer um, to give this form to the patient okay um so you might give the give them the form but you know just inform reception that they'll obviously be given back these um patient assessment forms and of course if you've got two students working in the same department um you might want to do um say student a one day and then student b the next so that you don't get these forms mixed up now this particular form of course does not sit in isolation. Now the form can be used together with Appendix 14 which is a student's own assessment of their communication and interpersonal skills. Um, so this will draw on feedback that you give them perhaps throughout the week or for that particular examination and should also draw on the feedback that the patient has given them. So it allows them to assess themselves on various facets so listening and attending skills giving information receiving information etc etc and the form also allows the student to go into a little bit more depth um, than the simple kind of Likert scale type questioning that we'd seen on the previous page so here it allows them to identify in a little bit more depth the aspects of the communication that they think that they've developed or that they may already have and also any strategies that they can use as well to improve their communication and interpersonal skills. Doing all this in tandem, what it allows the student to produce is an action plan. Okay, so they can do that either from a specific incident or they can do it over a week or merge those two things together. So we've got here, they should really be summarising the feedback that they've received from the radiographers and the patients and tallying that up with their own assessment of their communication into personal skills, things that they've learned, identify um, aspects of their communication that are good, um, etc. So what this, this does is it allows them to bring everything together either from the week um, or maybe it's two weeks or even from a particular day. So what we've kind of done here with the summary and action plan is kind of give them a little bit of, of, of guided reflection, really. And then finally, we've also given them again a little bit of a structured action plan um, as well. Of course, they can take these action plans and apply it not just to communication, um, but to the sort of their placements overall as well. So that's kind of a little whistle stop tour of appendix 14 and 13 around the 360 degree sort of feedback form.